What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can back up restore or transfer our user profile on a Windows operating system now this means you could do this from Windows XP right up to Windows 10 and we're going to be using Fabs Auto Backup now Fabs Auto Backup has been around a long time and it's an awesome bit of kit and whether you're a technician or whether you're a home user or a business user it's a great piece of kit for um, backing up or your user profile now say for argument's sake that you've got an issue with your operating system and you need to reformat that machine back to factory settings uh, when what's going to happen is you're going to lose all your data so fabs auto backup will allow you to back up all your user profile and all your settings and stuff like that and then restore that back once you've uh, formatted the machine and put it back to the default settings so it's an awesome bit of kit for that now for technicians it's a godsend for home users it's also great if you want to transfer to a new computer or you want to transfer a corrupt old user profile to a brand new user profile you can also use the transfer feature with fabs auto backup as well so let me open it up and show you what it's all about say yes here okay so now we've got fabs auto backup open you can see we've got three buttons here backup data restore data and transfer data very uh, simple user interface here you've got your notifications for your updates you've also got your language which you can just select uh, which language you want to use uh, pdf which is your user manual your tech support uh, button here and also you're about fabs auto backup here we're going to click on the backup because we want to back up a user profile we're using Windows 8.1 here automatically it's detected the C drive which is our Windows directory and it's found our user profile uh, called Brightech now there may be multiple uh, user profiles here but we've just got one on this machine the backup location uh, is something that you can choose yourself by clicking on this button here and this will allow you to select the location that you want to uh, use to back up your uh, profile or profiles you can back up in a subfolder here um, but we're just going to leave this, this as is go next now we got onto the user data here this allows us to make changes to our backup and what we want to back up you can see automatically the stuff that's lit up in blue with ticks in it these have been detected on the system pictures music desktop documents videos and downloads now if your downloads folder is huge and you've got loads of stuff in there and you don't really need that backed up you can take the tick out and it would ignore that also you've got areas here that it's detected which is Internet Explorer which is always on an operating system you can see it's detected that you can back up that profile uh, Mozilla Firefox is grayed out here and that's because we don't have Mozilla Firefox on this system but we do have Chrome and you can see it's automatically ticked that so that's great to back up those now you can also back up other um, browsers like Safari and Oprah and other stuff like that it also does backup of your mail now depending on what mail client you're using if you're using um, Outlook uh, personal data files or Outlook you can uh, back up these which is really useful uh, you've also got your signature files if you created all the signature files and stuff like that calendars it will do all that sort of stuff you've also got your Mozilla Thunderbird uh, if, you've, if you're using that as a client for, for mail it will back up that as you can see it's not on this system Outlook Express, um, Postbox, Mail, and stuff like that there is other ones on here as well called Windows Mail, Windows Live Mail, Oprah Mail and all that sort of stuff uh, address book you can collect all that uh, information which is very useful uh, Windows Calendar if you've got that set up it will back that up as well Windows Gadgets as you can see the list is endless and it's very useful and it allows you to get all this data off in one fell swoop so let's go on to the next tab which is your public data if you want to back up all this stuff you can do so if you for instance if you don't need this you could turn this off if you wanted to if you wanted it you can leave it in there uh, like fonts and stuff like that you just put the tick in if you want to back up all your fonts now if someone is using uh, a lot of fonts and stuff doing graphic stuff you may want to back those up uh, but the option is there if you want to to leave them ticked or unticked again you've also got your Microsoft Office XP 2003 2007 activation files this is essential if you want to be able to format the machine and 
then reinstall Office. All you need to do is just put this program in and drop in your activation files and the program will be fine. This can be a nightmare if you're a technician and uh, you haven't backed up the activation or you don't know the key and all of a sudden you go to install Office and now you haven't got the activation key. That can be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so this will stay, save you a lot of hassle. Also, your Steam download software, really useful to back that up as well. Uh, if the guy is a gamer, and you can see your Windows product key using uh, Neurosoft. Extra files and folders. Again, you can add in your additional folders if you wish. If you've got separate folders on there that you've uh, the, the user has created himself with loads of content in there, you can back that additional folder up. Again, you can also back up the additional files uh, by doing this as well, by putting a tick in here and adding the plus sign here to add the extra file inside there. Okay. The next option is your exclude so you can exclude certain file types ie temp files with all junk in it and stuff like that you can put those locations in here and that will get rid of those or exclude folders as well once you've done all your selections and you're happy you can then move on to the next button now you can see a long list here you can purge older files on the destination so if you had previous backups uh, there and you wanted to purge those you could purge those before you use your fresh backup if you wanted to Or you can leave that well alone if you've got no uh, backups in there So once you've done that you can hit the launch button And it will start to back up And there we go that's all backed up nicely We've now got all that onto our external drive and that's all now safe we can now exit out the program now if we wanted to we could then format the machine put it back to uh, factory settings and also then put our software on that we wanted say um, office and stuff like that and put our activation keys back on also we could put on our uh, windows activation key we can also put in there all of our uh, restored data i.e uh, our user profile simple all you need to do is once you've reformatted and put all that stuff back You then open this up, you then click on restore, and then you select the backup folder, which is the folder that we created. You put that path in, and then you just go through the process and reverse the process, i.e. you're pointing to the Brightech folder, you're gonna re redo all this, and then put it all back, okay? It's that simple, so you just have to go to that location. So once you've selected that location now, it'll allow you to, um, you see the tick there, it'll allow you to go to the next step. And we're gonna go next. And you can see it wants to restore all the data that we backed up, depending on what you want. Now there is nothing, cause this is just a fresh install on this machine, but if you add all your data here, it'll let you back all that stuff up and put it back. And we're just gonna launch this. And you can see now, because we've got this, uh, we can keep both or rename current file or overwrite. And we're just going to overwrite all that stuff and put it all back. Now remember, I'm just going to give you an example here. I've not formatted the machine or anything like that. I've just quickly backed up and restored it back over the old stuff. But that's basically how you can back up and restore using Fab's Auto Backup. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. It really does help me out. Also, hit the subscribe button. That will keep you up to date when I upload new videos. And uh, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or any questions or anything like that, uh, you can always head over to the forums. The information's on the screen right now. That will help join the community and... Uh, you can uh, join up over there for free. It doesn't cost you anything, okay? Anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.